everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Sina please like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video if you would like to see how I created these Halloween glam nails keep watching so getting started I'm using my profiles backstage 100 gray hand, hand file to remove the shine from the nail plate on my ready guana practice hand you will also notice that I filed the free edge just a little shorter you have to buff the nail so the acrylic would adhere better to it. Be careful when doing this though, you don't want to thin out the natural nail. Now I'm just taking some Young Nail Swipe and a lint free wipe to remove any oil and debris from the nail plate. Our body produces oils and they happen to be on our nail plate. I got these square tips off of Amazon and I'm just applying them using, using Young Nails Brush On Glue. Make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. I'm taking my 100 gray file again and perfecting that square shape because it was just a little rounded off at the free edge. I'm going to be tapering the sides and blending the tip to the natural nail. You can also use your e-file with a sanding bag for this step. I recommend these files as they are nice and sturdy. So here you'll see me using my Profiles Backstage Pro Fix and I'm applying two coats to avoid lifting. Make sure you do not skip this step as it will cause lifting if you do.
I'm just putting some monomer to wet the tip before I go in with my acrylic application. I do this to every nail. It helps to brush the acrylic product down the nail. I am using my Profiles Backstage Sculpted Like It's Hot number 10 with their liquid monomer. And not polish acrylic powder M107 Mambasita. I think this is a perfect purple for Halloween. I'm obsessed with not polish. The acrylic goes on like butter and has worked well with every monomer I've paired it with. So I'm going to be doing an ombre and I will also be using not polish OG 102 Nude Panther where the natural nail is. I'll be back on the next step. So I just wanted to say, for the ombre, I put the purple down first, so then when I put the nude, it blends well, and you just want to be sure to, whatever color you're going to use, to brush it up so you don't see that harsh line, and try to apply the acrylic powder as thin as you possibly can, just in case if you mess up or whatever, you can add some more to it.
when adding the nude you're gonna want to brush it down very very light just very light pressure on it not too much and also you want to be very careful when working in that cuticle area because you don't want to flood it with product so as you can see I'm just patting it into place I'll be right back on the next step
now I'm gonna be taking Young Nails Core Clear to clear cap the ombre so when I file, I don't ruin it. I left the filing process out of the video, but if you wanna see how I do file, leave a comment down below and also comment some things you guys would like to see in future videos. I love seeing comments and would love everyone's tips and ideas. If you notice, I keep wiping the sides of the nail because I want, I want to keep that square shape as, as much as I can to do the least amount of filing as, as possible. Now for the nail art, I am using Profiles Backstage White and Black Frosting Gel Paint along with my Art Liner Brush from McCart. I got this brush in a 3-pack off of Amazon. I also got the rhinestones that I used for the spider from Amazon 
the glitter is from target i got it in the arts and crafts section So I'm trying to get more into hand painting. I really enjoy doing it. It's therapeutic. Uh, I'm not the best right now, but with practice, I'll get better and better. Practice makes perfect. So if you're feeling down and out because you can't get the right, you can't, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> it's hard for you to hand paint like it was for me. Don't worry. Just keep practicing. You'll get there. I've seen a big difference in my work from the beginning till now and I just hope to keep on improving. I forgot to mention the wax pencil is also from Amazon you can get any kind of wax pencil and uh, I used my young nails glue to to glue down the, the the rhinestones on the nail but you can also use gel um, they have like this like I guess you can use like hard gel too and then just cure it in the lamp but the young nails glue holds onto the uh, holds it onto the nails really well, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> So right here, you're going to see me go in with a lymph-free wipe and I used some alcohol just to remove this because I didn't like the way it came out. Um, so I'm just going to redo it. Don't feel bad if you have to erase something that you did. 
if you don't like it, fix it. I mean, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. Don't feel bad. Uh, just make sure that you don't hear it until you're, you think that it's um, to your liking, you know? Because if you cure it, then you're gonna have to kind of like file it off and redo it. And that's just extra work that you do not need to be doing. I just noticed my little ghost came out looking like a Pac-Man ghost from the game Pac-Man. <laughs> I found that so funny. So I'm just filling in the middle. I filled it in with the brush from the gel paint. For that part, I actually used the um, Profiles Backstage White Magic gel um gel polish that polish is super super opaque like you only need one coat and you're good the eyeballs are uh little rhinestones the same ones that i use for the spider just in a smaller version so for the top coat i used um not polish Mat it on the index finger and the ring finger and then I used um, And then I used um kicking glass from profiles backstage uh, Right there as you can see I showed you guys I used a uh, quick stick it from profiles backstage so I can adhere the glitter that I got from Amazon. I'm sorry not from Amazon from Target on the nail and then you'll see me um, outline the glitter only because I didn't like how it looked with the plain glitter I thought outlining it would make it a little more uh, it would pop it out a little more um, so when you're done with that just cure it in the in your LED lamp or UV lamp I cured it for 30 seconds in the LED so if you're using a UV I guess it would be for 60 seconds that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow so others can watch the videos too. Thanks so much for the support. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.